Hi guys, Gareth Jones here from Art of the Playboy. I just got back from New York City where I was teaching on the Natural Lifestyles New York Residential with Liam and Tony and James and John Keegan was there as well. We had a lot of great fun and a lot of uh, real growth with students, but we had an interesting chat, James Marshall and I, after the residential that led to an interesting concept and a concept that I wanted to share with you right now. This is the idea of the modern alpha male. Now what is that you're asking? When we think about alpha male, traditionally we have the idea of the big muscle-bound warrior or the business tycoon with lots of money that throws it around in order to have dominance over people. What we've discovered is that as times change and as money becomes devalued and not necessarily uh, figuratively and not necessarily a focus of our culture, the most powerful males have different skills. And what we discovered was that our ability to relate to people and our ability to move through social circle, circles and discover different languages of social situations was the most powerful ability of all. Now we look back in past and we see people like Casanova and the amazing story that he told and his ability to move like a chameleon, like a changeling through these different social circles um, and how much power it gave him and how much success he derived from that power in love and lust in money and in fame as well. Um, this is such an important concept and really, really an interesting idea to expand upon, which is exactly what James and I did. So why don't I turn it over to us in the past? Again, this is James Marshall from the La Natural Lifestyles and myself in New York City talking about the modern alpha male. I mean, I think that's a that's kind of an interesting topic because neither of us are, um, are the archetypal alpha <laughs> <laughs> in the in the physique yeah, it sense. It kind of disappears when you start playing an instrument, doesn't it? Just yeah, like that, that neutralizes. Like put you in a box. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we're you know, I'm skinny and Gareth's not as skinny as me, and uh, used to be though. Yeah, used to be very very <laughs> slender and lithe. <laughs> Thanks for including that in this. <laughs> uh, and I and I see guys writing like comments on my YouTube something too like, Wimpy is the new alpha, huh? He's this hairy, long-haired <laughs> yeah, faggot yeah, getting right. chicks. He's like there and pumping weights. He's like fucking yeah. that. Why well, am the alpha? I'm the alpha. I'm like reps, I'm the alpha. No girls. I'm the alpha. Um, what do you think it means now? What does that alpha thing mean? Does it have any? Is it have any relevance these days? Is it yeah. a thing? Is it? If someone like comes in and he's like, I'm alpha. I've been working for this many years to be able to conquer and kill other males mm. and then he like punches you and goes to jail and then you're like well I'm still here yes. <laughs> with the women yes. you're in jail with the men um, Good luck with that. what do you think what do you think are you would you say you're an alpha no, alpha male no, 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 no. Not how come all. you get chicks then yeah weird, don't girls right? only like going out with the alphas because then they can procreate with them or something yeah it't that crazy isn't that crazy that we can, can just jack the system yeah they're a little bit smarter. Well, it's like, I think uh, it is an important concept for guys to have a think about because there's a lot of confusion about that. There's the, the we sold the kind of the GQ, 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 and G and the Q, Alpha. He's the not guy with the nice be, clothes. We're talking about old guys trying not to be young. <laughs> trying to not be young. Like the Twitter? No, it's not like Twitter at all, James. <laughs> I was having a tweet with me mum earlier yeah. and uh, right. on Did the old Google blower. On the YouTube. <laughs> um, well, yeah, so we're sold this idea. It's, it's muscles, it's status, it's car, it's gun, it's, it's fight, um, it's bigger than, it's all that kind of stuff. Do you think there's any relevance to that now? Well, or that's a, what does that know, mean for guys? Is that a useful idea to carry around? One of the big things <coughs> I teach is effort, right? And being in good physical shape displays effort. Mm. And having, um, you know, being stylistically in touch shows effort you know mm -hmm. like I'm, uh, on Sunday night at the end of the workshop I did my thing you know I got all my, my did my Gareth yeah and we went to the bar nice. and three separate girls were like you look really nice tonight mm -hmm. and some of the students came up to me and and they were like hey that was so <coughs> cool how those girls opened you how did you do that and I was like well here's the deal it's all of our about... students were French this week yeah, yeah yeah just just those French ones um <laughs> I was also thinking, as well as Pierre <laughs> over here. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's weird that we're teaching on the gondolas. Like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, it was just one French guy from the French Foreign Legion, amazingly. He was, he was, he was alpha as he was fuck, yeah, yet he, he, was he was coming to, he was coming alpha, to yeah. learn from us. I did 10 push-ups. He was so alpha that I was eating a pretzel later, and he goes, you're invalidating those 10 push-ups you did. No, and I was like, no. oh, fuck. But I was going to eat this anyway, so I'm not really. Um, <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so so it displays that effort, you know, dressing well and being stylistically in touch and being in touch with with what's going on, um, not necessarily trend wise, mm. but but um, you know, aesthetically, social that, matrix wise, getting to getting it. Yeah, yeah, understanding that, and that and that displays something that, you know, there may be an allure of the the alpha male that's willing to like gruffly lead people through the jungle or whatever, but when you are able to identify with the alpha male and identify with the betas and identify with the, the women, then, mm. you know, there's this concept in cybernetics called the law of requisite variety, and it states that the object in any system, social system, mechanical system, biological system, that has the most variety mm -hmm. has the most control. And, like, yeah. when you talked about, when you talked about, you know, sitting in yourself and, and, like, if you need to go to a little lounge where we dress up in Las Vegas or if we need to go to a dive bar in Melbourne or if you need to go to a golf club in New York City, um, you can do that. Mm. And you can, you can find your way into those things by understanding those circumstances. And that's what makes, that's what makes people like us the most powerful. Yes, that's a really important point because uh, <clears throat> there's lots of what you would say situational alphas, right? So that's the guy who goes to the same club all the time, knows the people, has the muscles, gets the corner table, uh, yeah, or right, is part of a music scene or something where he kind of goes, all right, I know how this works, I know the hierarchies, I know the buttons to push, and so he gets results, uh, which is fine. But for us, uh, wanderers, <clears throat> people who want to be able to move throughout social systems around the world of you know go from the lowest <coughs> to the highest we hang out with princes we hang out with dirty rockers and everyone in between it's actually that adaptability and uh, to a certain extent mimicry like being able to walk into a place and understand uh, to be able to intuit the social rules yep. we don't have to uh, we're, we're not bound by them which is a th the fun thing about being almost like a tourist socially where we can come in and go all right I can play the game here I know I can put on the costume I'm not attached to it uh, I can understand the cadence of speech I can see the way the humans going here and therefore I can step in and be the exotic that that is not the uh, outlandish and uh, therefore yeah we have this variety of <laughs> of seduction powers that we can utilize all around the world and so that's I think in terms of the modern day alpha that's actually a far more important thing you know when I'm when I'm looking at myself getting ready I'm like all right I got my I got my passport I got my earplugs because of the noise uh, you know I'm dressed in a way that I could dress up dress down like here is here is my alpha kit which used to be a gun which used to be um, an army which used to be political power or whatever yeah. um, really is this ability to socially maneuver that's the most valuable thing that I think you could possess as a as a young single male you know what's interesting is how how <coughs> not being so the idea of not being yourself can be interpreted in a lot of different ways and one of those ways is changing your behavior in a situation right mm. well oh yeah well if you believe you know we had an issue the other day where there was a bit of a conflict and I just walked away and one of the guys was like well why are you running away from conflict and I was like it's not because I can't deal with it but because I choose not to. Mm. And some people may look at that and go, oh, you're like afraid or weak or whatever. Or some people may look at it and go, he's actually extracting himself from that situation. Mm. So some people, you know, a lot of people have spent, especially guys have spent their, their lives sacrificing who they are and what they want. So they think that moving into a situation where it's like, you know, if, if maybe there's some things weird in a golf club that you're at, some weird things are going on, it's, they, they, they feel it's very necessary for them to say, oh, well, this is weird and I don't tolerate that because yeah. that's who I am. Whereas in actuality, the strength comes from being like, they're doing weird stuff, that's okay, it's not affecting me. I may, may or may not agree with it, but I can continue going on with my mission on this side. Right, definitely. And that leads it directly into the, the practicalities of seduction. Like the guy that's rigid is also tends to be reactive, mm -hmm. right? Because he can't, he, he's, anything that deviates, deviates outside of his plan or uh, his idea of how things have to be or what he was expecting the woman to do, uh, the moment that that's not, doesn't happen, then he loses his cool. And guys, really important to know this, that <coughs> girls can tell the difference between confidence and arrogance. And they can tell the difference between you putting on a show and you actually being at ease. And <coughs> one of the easiest ways to, for a girl to see that is to see how you handle when things don't go the way you planned. Right, so a lot of guys are able to put, present the front of, okay, I'm, I'm in control, I'm alpha, I'm confident, and then they take the girl to the restaurant and it's closed or it just burnt down and they flip out. Or the waiter comes over whilst he's being all charming and explaining how cool he is and like spills a little bit of milk on his pantaloons and he gets angry. Right? These kind of things, women are actually 
very specifically watching you to see, okay, cool, yeah, he's, he's charming me, and then he lost it with the taxi driver, or, he, yeah. or that other guy came over and was just like, you know, having a play and was, was teased, teased him a little bit and he got aggressive, this kind of thing. So understanding that you, do, you don't need to dominate every situation to be a confident male. Thanks for watching. For more information, head on over to artoftheplayboy.com and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.